everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a one brand makeup tutorial and this time it's Makeup Revolution. Now they are mostly available in Superdrug I would say. They do have their own website that you can order from. So I had a little bit of trouble on Superdrug's website ordering so I just went in store and finished off my collection because I did have quite a few Revolution products already. This is the finished product. I really really like the way it turned out so if you want to see what products I used from Makeup Revolution then keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with foundation purely because I don't really wear primer so I didn't see the point in buying it when I know I won't use it so foundation is just the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. It looks like that. Now I thought this was the lightest that they did, it certainly was in the store that I went to at Superdrug, however I checked their website and there seems to be a 0, a 0.1, a 0.2, a 0.3, a 0.5, a 0.7 and then a 1. So at least there's lighter shades because I'm pretty pale, there might be someone paler than me. So at least it caters to a lot of shades, it also goes up to the number 18 but there is um, 0.5s in between. So I think there's a pretty wide shade range available. I'm just going to get my mirror so I can see properly. Now I was wanting this to be a first impressions but the footage has been lost along with my memory card and the SD card reader. So that's good. Love when I lose things. So comes with a doe foot applicator similar to the Clinique foundation that I tested in the summer time or last summer I think it was. So I'm just going to do one side at a time. I always like to do this just in case foundation dries quickly and then I'm rushing to blend it all. So I'm just going to Blend it all in, it blends really nicely and I've got dry skin if anyone is wondering and it doesn't cling to the dry patches on my face. This foundation is oil free, it dries to a demi matte foundation and I don't think I've ever tried a demi matte before. I usually, I don't like matte foundations since I've got dry skin but this this one dries really nice. It's got a bit of a sheen to it just now, but once it dries down, I'll do a close up so you can see. It is vegan, cruelty free, which is always a bonus. And it says it's buildable as well, so I will test it out and do another layer once I've done my full face. Usually don't like putting too much on my nose just because it can get dry but I feel with this foundation it looks perfectly fine. I think this has turned out a really nice finish. I'm going to add a tiny bit more to see if it is buildable because I can still see a little bit of redness around this area on my skin so I'll just pop a little bit at either side and see how it reacts. Some people might not like this foundation because it's not got a pump but personally I don't mind. I'm very impressed with this foundation because I do get extremely dry skin here and it can look a bit um, scaly with some foundations but it is sitting so nice and that's what it looks like. So I'm happy with that coverage. Just gonna blend my hairline a little bit and then we can move on to concealer. The concealer's kind of like a set. They look very similar. The Conceal and Define, it's the same doe foot applicator, just a little bit smaller, but still for a concealer, it's a pretty big doe foot. So I'm just gonna put a little bit here and a tiny bit on my chin. The foundation's done a really good job of covering it actually. I don't want to put too much on so it's not cakey but it's sitting really nice on my skin. 
Okay, that's the base done. So next I will move on to, I'll set my face. I got the Revolution Bacon Finish in the shade, the lightest one, Ghost Finish. There was this one, a translucent version, beige, orange, deep dark, so they do, and banana powder. They do lots of versions of this, but I just got the, the white one and it looks like a little talcum powder. I don't know if it'll focus. It just looks like a little talcum powder, appli not applicator, opening. And I will try and put it in the little lid here. It's quite good because then it doesn't just all come out at once. I'm just going to use my beauty blender to bake a little tiny bit under the eyes and on my chin. It's not too heavy, which I like. The only thing I would say is it's quite hard to get a decent amount out when it's such a small lid. But I also like it because then it doesn't pour out everywhere when you're just trying to get a little bit. Whoa go under my eyes and chin. What I'm going to do while this is setting is do some contour. So this was recommended by Soph on YouTube. She got this. It's just a matte base powder but she used it as a contour colour which I thought was a good idea when I'm so pale. And this is in the shade P5. It's quite a cool tone brown, which means it's good for contouring. I always need to be careful when I'm contouring because I'm so pale. I don't want it to look too much. But I think you can get away with it using this because it's not too dark. But obviously you can get the correct shade for your colouring. I think this would be a good powder for all over your face as well if I got the right shade because it seems to blend nicely with the brush. Anyone else struggle to do the opposite side? I feel like it doesn't, it's awkward with my hand. Now that this has had time to bake a little bit I'm just going to wipe it off with a clean brush and then also spread it around my face which will blend contour out a little bit so I'm gonna move on I feel like I'll leave highlight and uh, do I have blush? don't even know if I've got blush but I'll leave all that till the end and now I'll focus on my eyes so I'll zoom you guys in for eyes I already had this palette here it's Fortune Favours the Brave. It's not my favourite eyeshadow palette. It's so pretty as well, but I just find the colours aren't as blendable as they could be. So that's what the palette looks like. I have used this in a video before and the colours do end up looking nice, but I just feel like there's more higher quality eyeshadows out there. So to start off, I'm just going to use a transition shade. I'm going to get the colour... See, this is another thing I don't like. All the names are on this, so you can't just reference on the palette. I'm going to get the colour Latte and do a transition shade. I can't remember what shades I used originally, so this is going to be me just winging it. And hopefully it turns out as nice as it did the first time. The next shade I'm going to just put on my lid is Golden Coins. It is a very similar shade to the transition colour that I used so I'm going to get a little bit of a darker shade and then deepen the crease up. I think I'm going to use the colour Caffeine Fix just a little bit to start with and I like this angled brush this is from MAC it's a 275 I just like the way that it's shaped to get into my crease especially since I have hooded eyes let's do the outer V for now and I'll see what that looks like It's not blending the best. 
honestly the colours are really nice but it's just not the best at blending. I'm going to clean it up in a minute but I'll do the other side. My eyes are getting sore from blending and it's not even blending nicely. I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and try and blend out the edges that way. That's a little bit better but do you see here and here I don't like how it's not seamless. I'm just going to put golden coins on the lid again because we seem to have lost the pigment a little bit after all that blending of my crease. And then in the inner corners I'm going to use, I've got such a mad mixture of brushes this is a harry potter one <laughs> it's got voldemort's wand but i'm going to use for the highlight new world it's just this shade here it's just going in the inner corners and then i think i'm gonna put gold coins in the middle and then i'm gonna Put the darker shade what was that called again caffeine fix my eyes blink so bad when i try and do under eye stuff oh, i'm just not happy with that eyeline and eh, with that eyeshadow but i'm gonna move on i'll keep trying this palette and see but the past twice i've used it i did not like it at all i think this is a weird order i'm doing it in but i'm gonna do eyebrows and then eyeliner so for eyebrows i picked up the revolution pro it's uh, just a brow pencil but on one side it's got a nice little spoolie and i think i got the shade soft brown their shade range was a bit strange i would say i'm usually a top shade in eyebrows because i don't like it to be too warm toned but the top was very gingery when i swatched it so i went for soft brown so i recommend if you are picking up any eyebrow products from Revolution to test it out first. So I'm just going to brush my brows out first. My brows are quite thick, like hairy. <laughs> so I don't usually fill them in very often, but I've got like little gaps and stuff that I usually fill in. Apologies if I come out the frame. I'm just gonna do little strokes. I'm not the best at doing eyebrows, so please forgive me. <laughs> my eyebrows sometimes look like they're going in like that because of my hypothyroidism. The tail ends of my eyebrows have disappeared, but that's what brow pencils are for, so I think the colour suits me. This brow is the, the bad one. I don't like this brow as much. So luckily I have a fringe that hangs it. That's not too bad. It looks very warm toned in the camera but I promise it doesn't look like that in real life. Now, here's a hard bit. I said I was rubbish at eyebrows. Wait till you see eyeliner. For eyeliner, I'm using the gold packaged one. I forget what it's called. I'll just check. It's called Renaissance Flick. And I love the shape of it. It makes it really easy to hold when you're doing your eyeliner because it's thicker where you'd hold your fingers. And it's like a flexible felt tip. So I really do like this eyeliner. But the way I do eyeliner, because my eyelashes are so like curled and long, I have to hold down my eyelashes to do it, otherwise they're fluttering all over the place. So I'm going to do this off camera and then I'll come back when it's done. So that's what the eyeliner looks like. I messed it up a little bit here, so I'm going to get a cotton bud and fix that once it's dry. But it makes doing eyeliner so easy because you can just lay it kind of flat and do it that way to get a thicker line or you can do it at the tip for thinner when you get to the inner corner. I love this eyeliner so much and it's only £5 so that's a bonus. Mascara is the same kind of packaging as the eyeliner, it's this one here 
it's just called the mascara something i did notice was the brush is ginormous it is the size of my face that's what the brush looks like it's really it's like an hourglass shape and it's bristles rather than plastic which i don't really mind either way but i find this gives really nice long eyelashes so i'm just the only thing as well i don't maybe it's just because this is new but it's quite goopy so i just like to take a little bit off the bristles before i start I'll show you a close-up of how goopy it is, but still a good mascara, it's just a little bit messy. I find because of the big brush it's hard to do lower lashes as well, so you have to be really careful, I say, as I get it everywhere. Okay, I'm going to try and show you how goopy it is. Do you see that? That doesn't look good. So it's quite gloopy, but I still like it. So, I might do lips next and then we'll finish with highlight. For lips, there was plenty to choose from. There is the lip kits. I tried to get them in store but they didn't have the shade that I wanted. So I just went with this Soph lipstick in the shade Cake. This is a very creamy, glossy lipstick. I really like it. My battery's flashing. Great! I'm going to try and do highlight before my battery dies. For highlight, I did have... A vivid baked highlighter and I do like this one but for the video I thought I'd get let's put it away, this one which is the soft palette it's a highlighter palette with two four six eight shades look how pretty they all are so nice so I'm gonna use this golden one and no it's not this gold one just because I was looking at it the wrong way it's this one here they don't have names but like a peachy gold that one or a champagne can anyone recommend a good highlight brush because that fan brush is not doing the job just went into the wrong shade on this side so i'll need to mix it up on the other side i accidentally went into the pink one but that's all right i've had to just let my battery charge a wee while so i'm sorry if the lighting or the angles are different. I'm going to finish off with Revolution Pro Fix Amazing Makeup Fixing Spray. It just looks like that. There are quite a few different types of setting sprays from Revolution so I'm quite interested to try another one but this is just one that I had already and I think it's just four or five pounds which is pretty good. I'll just let that sink into my face. So this is what the makeup looks like. Um, the eyes are okay. It looks better than it did earlier, but I'm still not 100% with this palette. My favorite by far is Soph's Highlight Palette. I really like the eyeliner and also the lipstick. The foundation is sitting really nice. So that is my full face of Makeup Revolution. If you enjoyed watching, then please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already it would mean the world to me we're already at 130 subscribers and i just want to give a big thank you to everyone that's already subscribed it's so nice to see my channel growing and yeah i will see you in my next video bye it's complicated.